So today I just thought I'd do a review of the Matrix XR36 Pro seat box. It's 12 months on now since I bought the box and in the past I've always been known as a Reeves. All in the last three boxes I've had before this have been a Reeves box so I was really interested to see how well this would sort of cope compared to them and if I thought it'd be better or worse. Um, and to be fair it's been a really good box. There was a few concerns that I had initially when I bought the box, to be fair. Um, the first thing was the foot plate system. There's like a little lever at the front here and there's a spring on the inside and I thought that that maybe would fail on me after a while of, you know, constantly taking the box in and out and um, that's still going strong. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the rig trays. Um, I wasn't sure whether to keep um, with my old Reeve rig trays or to buy a new set of rig trays for this box. And to be fair, when I seen the system and how it worked, I was really sort of converted over to these. You've got obviously an add-on unit that you can buy and then the actual rig winders come on trays that slot in. So you don't have to have so many add-on units under the box. What I can do is, depending on what venue I go to, I can just slot in a different rig tray into that so what i've got at home is quite a few different rig trays for me different types of rigs and i can just slot them into my units so i've only actually carrying four or five units with me and that is plenty of units for all my fishing another thing what i wanted to talk about is the seat when i first got it i thought oh that's a bit you know uh, tough but it once you've sat on it a few times it wears in lovely and it's just absolutely perfect dead comfy i never have a problem with that um but to be fair there is a couple of things what i think could be better and i'll talk about them now so firstly the leg system and a lot of the fishing i'm doing i'm going to commercial venues which have nice flat platforms so you don't so much notice there is a problem until you go to a venue where you do need to mess about with your legs and what i've found is the actual internal um, extenders on the legs can slip when you put a lot of pressure on and I've had it numbers of times where I've cranked the box up and no matter how hard I tighten it up or even though I know I've tightened it up properly it still slips and I just feel like maybe if you're a river angler or if you're fishing on sort of natural venues that could be a real problem that could um, so I think that is something that maybe needs to have um, sort of a look into um, another thing about the legs is my legs have marked really quickly and I've got some big scratches on all my legs from when I'm putting my uh, attachments over the top and it doesn't really affect the performance of the box but I personally don't like seeing all the scratches on the box and I think obviously I wish that could be a bit better and um, but again I do a lot of fishing so obviously I'm constantly taking it off so it will wear away a lot quicker than you know most people so how do I set up my box For, firstly the stuff I leave on the box all the time and I've got two items that are always on the box the first one at the front is the Preston extendable toolbar this just means I can put all my nets on nicely organized in front of me often we need we're needing you know four or five nets and i can get four or five nets on this no problem so that just makes it dead easy another thing i don't like having to use legs on my side tray and i don't think there's any need to now because there's so many products out there in terms of side trays that support themselves and actual supports for your side tray that when you do go on a narrow platform it just takes away any stress of oh no i can't get it you know onto the platform you can just plonk it over the top of one of these which is a Preston side tray support and it stays up perfectly. The actual side tray I use is a Preston Ventilite XL side tray and one support on them holds it up lovely and uh, stable and you have no problem no matter what size your platform is you can get your side tray on. Another thing I have is a hooded Ventilite side tray, the large, which just fits over the top so that if it is a bit rainy and um, I want to try and protect my bait if I'm fishing with maggots. I've got that there that I can just put up. I don't have to use it if I know it's going to be a nice day, but I always tend to put it on, to be honest, just in case of a change in weather conditions. So I always have a ripple bar on my front left leg, 
because I'm left-handed, I want obviously have my pole on my left side. Obviously, um, right-handers, this would all be reversed. So I have my bar on it. It's just a double bar. I've got a pole sock, which is the Guru pole sock, which has got two places to put it in, and also a tulip in the middle of the pole sock. And also, I've got a Stonfo tulip as well, so I've got plenty of spaces to put my pole. So if I'm using a few sections, and I've got a few sections behind me, then there's no problem. I haven't gonna run out of space of where to put it. So on the back left hand leg, I put a roost kit, and the roost kit I use is a Reeve arm, which has got some of the Stonfo tulips added to it. It's just so I've got, you know, up to eight, 10, 12 top kits safely on my left hand side, which is where I personally like to keep it. And I just have them laying onto the floor, the top kits at the back, and I find that's just perfect for me. So that is how I set my box up. So finally, I just wanted to talk about the draw configuration I use. Personally, I just use it as it comes as standard, as I'm not the tallest of people, so I don't need any extra drawers. And I find also that this one drawer on the side, with it being a deep drawer, has got plenty of space for anything I want to keep in the box. So it's just as it as standard, and it's got plenty of space. So um, that's it, really. Um, looking back on the past 12 months of using this box, I do think it's been a really good box. I am quite concerned about this leg slipping system, so I am tempted to change, to be honest. And uh, I might even be tempted to swap back to a Reeve. I know in the past I moved away from using Reeves because the open leg system had let me down a couple of times, but I mean, I've been told that that's been improved now, so it might be worth looking back at getting one of them.